Thank you so much for being with us. More than 500 people we have here in the room. We have really the whole ecosystem here. What was, could, could we tell the people the retail price? Or yeah, it retails right now, the first run retailed for 50 to 150. It's a little bit like, I, I'm feeling a little bit like in this uh, um, home shopping uh, <laughs> station. Look here, it's a very nice thing, yeah. Look here. Would you like to nice, model brilliant. Oh, it's awesome. <laughs> no? chains around the world becoming much more complicated and we think that having a partner from the start that sees that and can help can help you grow the business um, for the future. So We're really at an inflection point. Every major inflection point in human, human civilization has been driven by some significant technological change and it's no different right now. We are advancing so rapidly with respect to the miniaturization of se semiconductor technologies and... Englishman's generally summarized in a simple term of Moore's Law. Moore's Law being the statement that the complexity of semiconductors, which underlie everything we have seen today, keeps doubling every 18 months or so. The amazing thing is that this will continue to happen although the economics are changing, although the technology is changing, but it will bring us now to the brink of the smart age. I think people want to get credit for when they're walking, and they also want to get real credit and real value for when they're walking and doing other things as well. Um, so anyway, I think the way we're going to go ahead and drive higher adoption is through um, uh, addressing the pain points, and also by not necessarily having everything on your wrist. You go to the gym, and you, know, you do it for a little while, and then you fall off, or you, you, know, you quit, you give up, you lose interest. A lot of times, it's because you don't know what you're doing. You're not getting accurate feedback. You're not getting good guidance. And in the end, you don't get the results. So maybe you're overdoing it. Maybe you're under, underdoing it. And that's really where the coach comes in. And that's really where our experiences are driven from this sort of insight, that it's not so much what I see in terms of my metrics. It's more what I do as a result of those insights. brands very easy on their logo so if we make the logo of a brand interactive we call this smart logos then every product where a logo is attached becomes automatically interactive I mean, she bumps me and I drop my phone into the water you know that, that would be a horrible experience for a very expensive device or let's say you have a wearable device and you use it for tracking fitness when you exercise but you forget to take it off in the shower and so therefore you then uh, you, you dunk your device and you may lose something that's very valuable to you uh, and something you use on a daily basis. Well, you don't have to do that. that that's why HCO is here to help. If we recognize, uh, if uh, positions and postures can be recognized, you can enjoy this kind of drum play.
so we can differentiate the uh, <laughs> thank you <laughs> thank you